I, I like recess. I love recess. And I love, love to run around and play. In many ways, Lily Blair is your typical five-year-old kindergartner. Five plus five is ten. Good job. I can move my fingers. <laughs> That's okay. Her family says her personality is amazing. Yes! <laughs> Give me five. Yes! <laughs> if you happen to recognize Lily, you're not alone. <laughs> yes, she's the same little girl in this wildly viral video. <laughs> While it was taken several months ago, Lily remembers it like it was yesterday. Um, yes. Two d The woman behind the camera <laughs> Laughing at all of this personality on display, Lily's grandmother, Marty Blair. It's always a good idea to have your cell phone out and ready with her because you, you never know what she's going to do. Okay. Blair took Lily's preschool graduation video and posted it as private on Facebook. However, she changed her page's privacy settings this one time. But a friend of mine who lives in Destin, Florida, had asked that I make it public so she can share it with her mom. That's when everything changed. And next thing I know, we're at 12 million views that night. The next morning, we we're, I forget how many, 30 million. We went to a wedding the next day. People were recognizing her at the wedding. And then around the world. From the Ukraine, South Africa, Australia, Scotland. I actually panicked and pulled the video down. But it was too late. It's now nearly impossible to track down how many times Lily's singing and dancing has been shared and seen. And with viral videos comes comments. You have a tendency to take it a little personally when it's your five-year-old baby. While most comments were positive, some were rude. And they likened her to a pole dancer, wow. a future pole dancer. My husband actually commented. Other comments were downright scary. Lily's grandfather told the I team at one point, someone who'd seen that video was able to find their address and send a gift to their home, making them realize just how vulnerable they were. So it scared me. I mean, I absolutely panicked. Whether it's during a sporting event or simply at home, many parents and grandparents take video of their children and grandchildren and then put that video on social media. Experts say, beware. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me, especially given that online there's this level of right distance and anonymity that we can have. Dayton Children's psychologist Dr. Christine Abuel spends the majority of her time working with five to 18 year olds. She stressed to the I team the importance <laughs> of children and teens being allowed to express themselves without ridicule. Privacy is pretty important for us in being able to sort of kind of experiment, right? Self explore. So it tends to be important in our development of who we are as a person. Alexa, play Old Town Road. There's no doubt yeah. Lily is given that freedom. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. And when the I team met Lily, she appeared to show no signs of the fame, positive or negative, affecting her. I got the horses in the bag. However, Dr. Abuel says social media still is relatively new and evolving. And just because something does not affect a child today does not mean it may not impact them in the years to come. It's tricky to say what that might mean to her, though, going forward, right? In, in this day and age, you know, especially as you think for teenagers, young adults, their social media presence kind of starts to become part of their identity, right? This is also why Marty Blair is now extra careful when it comes to videos she posts online. Lily's viral video may have changed her perspective forever. So I would never recommend doing it. Despite their experience. Because it's my favorite thing. This family is relieved, it seems, Lily. Just keeps being Lily. Yeah, I got a real life fairs. For the I team, Adam Marshall. <laughs> New Center 7.